Once upon a time, there were two brothers, and their names were Hudden and Dudden. They were as mean as they were rich. Each had a handsome farm with green meadows where their fine animals grazed. But for all that, they were not happy. The more they had, the more they wanted. Squeezed between their two farms lay the land of a poor man called Donald O'Neary. He only had a hovel to live in and a little strip of grass barely enough to feed his one cow, Daisy. But that was enough to make Hudden and Dudden envious. And so they spent their days scheming and planning to get hold of Donald's land. Let's kill his cow. If that doesn't drive him out of the county, nothing will. No sooner said than done. They committed the foul deed in the dark of the night. Bright and early in the morning, Donald was ready to milk Daisy. But he found the poor beast on her last breath. She only had strength to lick his hand once before she died. Donald was broken-hearted, but he was also shrewd. He knew who was responsible for his misfortune. He set out for market with poor Daisy's hide over his shoulder, taking with him every penny he had to his name. But before reaching his destination, he stopped to conceal all the coins and tiny slits he cut in the hide. Once in town, he walked into the fanciest inn, bold as you please. I expect you to bring me only your best, he ordered with confidence. The landlord, however, didn't like his looks and trusted him even less. Are you feared and I can't pay you? Why, I have a hide here that gives me all the money I need. He just tapped the hide and out popped some coins. There was pandemonium. Customers fought for a chance to buy the magic hide. Donald held out. The hide was not for sale. He gave in finally, letting it go to the innkeeper for its weight in gold. By nightfall, he was home. Hudden and Dudden were shocked to find it not only back, but busy stacking gold coins. Ah, oh, my good neighbors, you never did me a better turn in all your lives. I took what was left of me poor cow to market and found that the hides are worth their weight in gold just now. Hudden winked at Dudden. They nudged each other. By morning, there wasn't a cow left alive in their meadows. Soon as the sun was up, the two were off to market with their biggest cart. Hides to sell. Fresh hides to sell. Their weight in gold. Only their weight in gold. Tanners and cobblers started to gather. The news quickly brought the innkeeper. He ran puffing up the street. Hold them for me. Hold them fast for me. I want to get my hands on that vagabond who cheated me yesterday. Hudden and Dudden took to their heels. Chased by half the town, they barely escaped with their own hides. Back at home, they found Donald O'Neary polishing his gold. If they loved him little before, they loved him even less now. You thought yourself mighty smart with your lion tails. Pay for this, you will, and on the bottom of the lake. There was a sack handy, and into it they popped Donald O'Neary with a big stone, tying him up tight. But Donald's tongue wasn't tied. Kind of you to carry me to the lake. The turn is good, even if the will is ill. No doubt you have heard the tale that the bottom of this lake is good grazing land, with fine fat cattle, there for the taking. Well, it's as true as me word. Just look into the water to see for yourselves now. It was a beautiful clear day. The sky was full of puffy little clouds, and the lake below did seem just full of fat white cattle. Hudden and Dudden stared greedily at the lake. They could see it all, wanted it all. Donald O'Neary was forgotten. They raced to be first into the water and the first to the bottom. They never came back. As for Donald O'Neary, he lived in peace. Happily ever after. <laughs>